What is up everybody? It's Jordan from Backyard Boys bringing you a video today on some goose decoys that I'm going to be using this September out in the field. So the decoys that I chose to use were Bulk Club decoys and Bigfoot's B2s. Now I'm not trying to tell you to what decoys to buy. I'm just giving you a little bit of information on what I found out and through the research I did and what I like about each of them. So with the Bulk Club decoys um, it comes with a stake, uh, nice, pretty pointy on the end there, um, and a little rubber topper on the top to kind of hold the decoy in place. Really the only con I have about this decoy is that sometimes when the ground is hard or frozen, uh, the stake is a little hard to push in, and if you don't pay attention to it, you could possibly snap it. So this decoy has a flocked head and a flocked tail which I think is a fantastic add with the flock tail because there's a lot of other decoys that don't really have that, especially for this cheap. This decoy runs $100 for a half dozen. Uh, you get the feeder position and the upright position in the, the mixed variety pack. And they also do sell sleepers now, which are fairly new. When it's in the ground, um, it does, it can move a little bit with the wind. Um, it doesn't, I've been out on some pretty windy days and it doesn't just continuously spin around it kind of just wiggles back and forth um, other than that the decoy itself will come in a pretty good sized box um, it'll be smushed down like so and kind of folded in some plastic wrap all you have to do uh, get it out of the plastic wrap go put it outside on a nice sunny day stake it in the ground and it will slowly inflate you can also push on it a little bit uh, to help help it open up. Once it is uh, inflated, uh, I haven't had any trouble with it staying this shape, even if I fold it or push it back together. So I would say the biggest thing with bulk club decoys that I like is one, the price. Can't beat $100. Uh, I haven't found a decoy to beat that yet. And then how light they are. You can carry a ton of these and that makes it so easy when setting up. Uh, early in the mornings, not going back and forth to the trailer, especially if you have a long walk. Uh, moving on to the B2s from Bigfoot. Um, this is the feeder position. Their variety pack comes with a little bit more positioning wise with the head. They have the challenger, the bull, the feeder, and uh, the upright. So putting these guys together, um, a little more, or a couple more pieces here. So you have the body itself, and then we have the feet, that you gotta click them in. And then these just hook right in to the bottom and that snaps in as well. So the heads come separate. Again, these heads are flocked as well. So this will just push down with some pressure and a little half turn and it's set into place. So with these guys, as you can tell, the body is significantly bigger. It's also a hard body. This one doesn't smush down, so it does make them quite a bit heavier, a little bit more of a hassle when bringing out to the field if you can't just drive out there. Uh, they do just have painted tails, and the other thing with the B2s is they run about 150 to 160 uh, per half dozen. With its feet, uh, I, I really like the, the feet idea with these. They're easy to set up in the field, and even on windy days, it doesn't blow it over. Um, without it being staked in the ground, so I think that's great. So those are the two decoys that we will be using. Like I said, I'm not trying to promote one over the other. Uh, we're going to continue to purchase both of these, probably till we get to about four dozen. Usually I'm hunting with two or three guys out in the field. If you guys have any questions about either of these decoys, just leave it in the comment section and I'll try to answer it for you. Um, I'll also leave the two links for both decoys uh, on the bottom of the, the video so you guys can go check them out if you're interested in buying either of them. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, please remember if you're new to the page to hit that subscribe button and like. That helps us out a lot in growing this page. And remember to check us out on Facebook at Backyard Boys Outdoors. Uh, we will see you on the next video.